This is a 26 foot cottonwood canoe. This ancient art form is making big waves in the Okanagan, and artist David Wilson couldn't be happier. This is what we, we have done for, for millennium, I suppose, for a long time. And there has been a uh, renaissance of uh, canoes. There are now probably a hundred now in the, in the valley now. This canoe is located inside Clarence Fulton Secondary to help students learn about First Nations culture. We had a lot of our students participate with David uh, to work on this artwork at the same time. Uh, for us, it was a pleasure to have David here because we're trying to learn more and more about First Nations culture and especially locally. In fact, David's art can be found all around Vernon. And if you know his style, you'll recognize his work. My style is uh, an Okanagan style. It's based on pictographs. I would call it a contemporary version of ancient pictographs. I uh, first learned how to do West Coast art, totem pole art, and I transferred the, what I'd, I'd learned onto pictographs. In First Nations art, pictographs refer to the art found on the walls of caves or the edges of cliffs. It seems to, to come alive and uh, it's uh, a new art form based on an old art form. His work can be found all around town, including this piece at the Performing Arts Center. I have a, a painting of owls. It's a five by seven acrylic on canvas. People love this piece, uh, David Wilson's artwork here that you can see from the lobby and we feel that it is really important to have these pieces of local art represented here in this building. And David is now working on a new piece for the Vernon Jubilee Hospital. It's a five by three that I call Star Blanket of Life. On the picture I have a circle in the middle, a large circle, the inside is a, is a large uh, drum type design in the circle. I like uh, putting things in the circle. David says the circles represent continuing life. The painting will be unveiled sometime in April. For Go Okanagan, I'm Jamie Ross.